What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the Civilization 5 World Teams TSL. I've lost it now. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> Teams World Game. It is going pretty well. There is only a few turns to go and that's a big peace deal. Uh, and a city did change hands, but for two cities went America's way. That is not good for the Inca and Brazil, I'm afraid. That's pretty bad news. That's probably a win in the bag for America. Although I say that, it's up to you guys to vote, I said, so... So you can all just not vote for them. But I mean, yeah, they look pretty pretty on top right now. So that's pretty pretty scary. We'll see see where this goes. But yeah, at least I mean that's kinda of half the map now pretty the whole new world is now just gonna fall silent. I assume America might go after California or something very soon, or they both of the teams might go back to what they were trying to do. We had the Iroquois going after Spain before. Brazil were going after the Songhai a tiny bit. Maybe we'll see them go back to that now. Who knows? But it does mean, for the most part, we can focus back on the old world. Plenty going on over here. Rome did survive. They were nearly dead. And there was another city in the red. I saw it. It was like where I spawned on. And then I clicked away. We'll, we'll find it. <laughs> we'll find it very soon. There's plenty going on, though, as you can see. Lots of people declared war on Russia. In fact, everyone did, apart from America, I think, for the big teams. And this city is being bombed with planes, but there's units here to defend. They should be fine. Korea, piecing out with Siam, Vietnam. No cities changing hands there either, which is good news. Korea are probably going to lose one city to Australia, maybe this turn. I mean, if they got it to the yellow in one, they'll probably take it out in two. Maybe there wasn't a city in the red, or maybe it was Maybe it was one over here. Maybe it was this one. I swear, oh no, it's down here, it's here. Okay, Arabia have defended it though. The Mercurians have fallen back, so it's probably going to be safe for now. Fingers crossed for them. They can hold on to that. And apart from that, the world is pretty peaceful. I don't want to say that, it could be wrong, but <laughs> things can change so quickly. But yeah, here, Kilwa is still in the hands of Kilwa. It's been switched hands twice now. See if the Zulu can take it again, but it looks like Ethiopia means business here. Although all these submarines aren't the most useful for defending it. But those planes are definitely use more useful, but they don't seem to be... They, they didn't prevent it from falling once, so it might happen again. And yet, in fact, it did just happen again. Sorry, hiccup. <laughs> it did just happen again as it falls. And that is also comes with Mount Kilimanjaro, so it's an important wonder or city to hold. Obviously... It, it was much better when it had 34 population, but you know, three will do. I'm sure it will grow back very quickly with some of these spice tiles. Well, the sea will provide a lot of food. Imagine because of this city being here, it can only work a lot of the sea tiles, which gives it a lot of food. Uh, the, there's another wonder, it's here, Lake Victoria. I mean, if you settle perfectly, you can get both, but here that hasn't happened. Obviously, if Nigeria were to come and take Kilwa, then that would happen. America versus Korea. They kind of border each other. I don't think it's going to matter. I think next turn, Australia or New Zealand, one of them, will have taken this. And the Iroquois complete the Pentagon. Nice little addition for them. We'll see what they get up to next. America is trading not with Britain and the Celt. Oh, no, they are. They're just going to this city. Okay. I thought maybe there would be some issues there. Uh, Rome. Oh, yeah. Rome is at war with a lot of people. But, like, Austria... By the look of things, I did not remember this, but okay. Uh, Rome should be fine. They're in a good spot to defend here. Their biggest threat is like the Songhai, to be honest. I mean, Britain could eventually do it, but there's so much, there's so many more units here than Britain can sort of curve around, so it's not going to happen. France is still okay. They've got planes now, they've got some good tech. They're still here. Obviously, it would be nice if they could connect with Spain again, but at the same time, this Britain's pretty cool, so I don't know. Greece, not sure you need to be going after Korea. Doesn't matter, but you know, you don't wanna don't wanna tempt anyone else in to declare a war on you. But yeah, Syria and Arabia seem to have held on. And Russia is not afraid to make their job a bit harder. Going after the Celts and Britain. That means they will have to be a little bit more careful. It's not not the end of the world, but Britain and the Celts can obviously come through Baltic Sea. They're pretty safe. Britain's pretty occupied down here and the Celts aren't really doing much. So they should be safe, but you know, just just keep an eye out, you never know. But yeah, Russia, 
I mean, they're holding off Mongolia for now. I wouldn't expect them to lose anything, but obviously those planes, if it eventually hits zero, then they might just snip in. Russia do not have many planes. They've actually had less than they had a little while ago. Poland has none, so I assume they have no oil. Or they put it all into battleships, Well, they have one, so they probably put their one oil into that, or maybe they bought one oil, and now the battleship's not doing very well either, because they've lost it. Celts v Korea, doesn't matter. Said so Korea's pretty safe. I think China will be the ones to take them out eventually. They have the technology lead now, I think, to get it done. Six planes, although I don't... Yeah, they're all bombers, so China could definitely take Seoul if they wanted to. Zulu joining in, it might happen pretty soon. I mean, it's not like they need... I mean, Mongolia could obviously do it too, but they don't really need to. Vietnam and Siam have failed multiple times. New Zealand, now at war with the Celts. Oh no, what have you done, Celts? I don't know what they've done. Britain's fault, taking so many cities... And there we go, as planned, or as I said would happen, Busan has fallen to Australia. So maybe this team can do a late burst of expansion. Could it happen? Could they go after Indonesia next? That would be pretty cool. Also, they could take try and take San Jose from America. It's not the biggest risk. America doesn't have too much in the Pacific. But yeah, I wouldn't really recommend it. Looks like America may actually go for Korea. <laughs> They're thinking about it. So Australia could come and... Start taking some stuff from Hawaii, Ethiopia here. They could come grab that before Ethiopia, who are pretty busy right now, <laughs> would come across. Uh, Nigeria, pretty similar. They're not going to come and defend this. Iroquois is a bit of a messy one. And Vietnam is, again, a bit of a tricky... I don't know whether the AI would consider that one. So yeah, they'll probably go after... Oh, the thing is, Indonesia is not weak. That's going to be a big battle. I mean, they have the advantage, probably. Well, it looks like they have less boats. They just have a lot of melee units in the sea, and that could... That could hurt them. We'll see how it goes. Okay, Indonesia definitely won't be easy to beat for this team. Well, that depends. Does Australia have good planes? Not yet. They still have the first level. France and Ethiopia piecing out. Not too big. Germany versus Mong or Mongolia. And f okay, Mongolia v Germany doesn't matter. But France? Nope. Only it does. Austria is in this too. But France pretty much by themselves. Spain can't really help them in this one their teammate, so it's going to be pretty difficult for the French, I think. Not sure what their plan was. I mean, Russia is not going to help them. They just pieced out with the same team, Germany, so that's not going to break out anytime soon. It's going to take a while for that again. I'm interested to see what happens next. I feel like the turns are going faster. I, I don't know. For some reason, it just feels like they are. But maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm completely wrong. They're going to hold on to it for now, Rhodesia. And actually, I think they will hold on to it pretty permanently. Okay, map. Thank you. <laughs> Keep me down there. The Inca have declared war now on the Celts again. I mean, that's not good. <laughs> Don't want Brazil, who could, you know, just nuke you for, I don't know, because they want to. <laughs> but that's probably not going to happen. Yeah, losing these two cities, that is a huge blow. I mean, this one not so much, but this one, that's huge. America now has the advantage of crossing over with all their units. I mean, they didn't go out without a bang, obviously. A few more nukes dropped towards the end. Ethiopia piecing out with the Celts. And Kilwa did, once again, recapital. Recapital? Recapture their city, which is their capital. <laughs> we'll get there one day. One day, I will be able to speak. Brilliantly. Probably. It's only taken over a thousand videos to get to this point. Which is kind of crazy to think about, but let's, let's, let's not. Let's just move on. It's two scary numbers. China, gonna do... Wait, are you doing it already? No, that must be someone else. That was the Japan is here as well. Don't... Expect them to help Korea out too much. They just open their 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 team is just out to open borders at this point. I think they're all for each other, all for themselves. Australia hunting down a Korean boat. I mean, I wonder if Australia would. It looks like they're thinking about going all the way. But I don't think they will commit to that. Who? I don't know who attacked these Ethiopian boats. If it is Australia, this could be bad. Losing a couple of cargo ships, but I don't think it is. I think they got damaged elsewhere, maybe attacking Korea at the same time. 
don't think these no oh no they're customs how do these how do they get so many great merchants Dang, that is six customs houses that is impressive all in the desert I mean you know probably a good place to have one obviously not in real life but is in in the game desert doesn't give you too much so turning them into five gold oh, six production but five gold two production nice that's some nice benefits there New Zealand obviously also doing pretty well 37 population in Wellington that is it's pretty scary not scary I mean but it's quite impressive don't think they're winning though they were leading the population demographic for a long time but I think America is winning almost all of them now maybe it was the Iroquois one of these two is leading all of them it's pretty scary Iroquois leading almost all of them, Brazil leading soldiers again, and the Inca leading technology. Russia is last for approval. The others don't really help because I'm last for all of them. 370. Let's have a look at the score lists. Don't do it that often anymore. Uh, America leading the way with the Iroquois, a thousand points ahead. Oh wow, the Inca and Brazil have fallen to fifth. Mongolia and China now second, Russia, Poland third. Songhai, Nigeria, 4th, Brazil, Inca, 5th, and Siam, Vietnam, 6th. So as it stands, in 30 turns time, Siam and Vietnam will not be even be in the vote to be considered a winner, even though they've conquered all of India. And Nigeria and the Songhai will be with their conquering of West Africa. Pretty interesting. New Zealand and Australia are sort of the next team, and the UK, the Celts, not far off either. There's a few teams around the 1,200 mark, then there's a bit of a drop to Egypt, Another drop to Arabia, another drop to Spain, then a few at a thousand, and, yeah, and then it gradually goes. And there's a huge drop to the final team, which is not me. I think that's a glitch. I'm not on their team. I don't know why I'm on my own, but there's me. But yeah, Sitting Bull on his own. But Rome and Greece lost of all the fully functioning teams behind Korea and Japan, behind Indonesia, Samoa. Very interesting. Oh, something did just happen. Kilwa fell again. I don't even know to who. To the Zulu this time. There you go. It's changing. That's different. Normally it's Rhodesia. Zulu did peace out with the Huns. Not super important. Adern is safe. wonder if Siam... Actually, I don't think they've peaced out. If they're taking damage, maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe there's still, still something going on here. Very interesting. But let's let's go straight into the next turn. Three hundred and seventy-two. Britain is actually losing to Russia, so that was, that was well planned. <laughs> Thought Britain and the Celts might have a chance to steal something away, but no, they are the ones taking damage. This city, Mongolia, is squeezing units through. Looks like the Huns are giving them open borders, which doesn't help. Obviously, the Huns did peace out with Russia, and this city is back up to where it was before. So it wasn't the end of the world that it fell a few times. It could have been a whole lot worse than it is. But it didn't seem to work out that way. What's going on? It's quite peaceful. There isn't that many teams left. Like I scrolled through that list. There's only about... Okay, there's three in the Americas. Europe's got one, two, three, four... Five, six, six in Europe, so that's nine. Africa has got four teams, so that's 13. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 20 teams remaining. I don't think I missed any. Many out, so 20 teams left, that means 40 sieves, plus the Sioux. I forgot about them, so... 21 teams, and then myself makes it 22 spectator. So I am, I know you need to do something to get in that top 5 pretty quickly. 29 turns to get it done. But uh, I don't think going after Germany is going to help you. I don't know what they should do. Either they should go all in on Arabia, or go after Indonesia. Just something they should have done a long time ago, because now Indonesia is pretty strong, and that's something I'm going to bear in mind for my game as the Khmer, which spawn pretty much the same place. I think my capital is here, or maybe over here. 
in that game in Civ 6, and I need to go after Indonesia soon before they get too strong. Inca versus Germany, another one. Not sure about that one, Inca. Do you really need to fight the Germans? Not sure how that's going to help you. America cleaned all the fallout. Oh, oh wait, no. Nope. Okay, it just takes some time. <laughs> Never mind. California pieced out with the Huns. And Kilwa Kiwazani has been captured by Kilwa again. No surprises there, that city changing hands very frequently. I can't think of a city that's changed hands more times before being settled. I think one of these, I don't remember if it's Istanbul, maybe, took a while. There has been some. This one obviously changed hands a lot. I don't think it was this much. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it was more. But it doesn't matter now. It's happened. Turn 373. We're getting there. Of course, we'll do a winner at turn 400, but we'll keep going. Just like in the sort of, you know, I'll show you what happens every 50 turns or so. Because it gets a bit slow. You don't want to have like 5 million episodes. I mean, some of you might. I don't. So, you know, there, <laughs> there's a balance in there somewhere. But I show you some of it. It does take a long time. Luckily, there's been quite a lot of wars this time around. Well, it got going. It was very slow up to about episode 20, and then it exploded. Because if they all just sit there stacking units, it, the processing time is ridiculous. Right now, it's actually pretty low. A lot of sieves. Pretty, I don't, look at Russia. I mean, they have nothing, and yet they're one of the most powerful sieves in the game, apparently. Um, the Inca, very similar right now. They don't actually have that much to control. Even Brazil, they have a bit more. Song I have a fair bit. But yeah, a lot of the powerful sieves don't have too much. The Iroquois are probably the worst. Although they're in like this formation, they're not moving too much around, so again, can't complain. China, if you could stick a load of artillery in here, going after Korea would be a lot easier. And it, I want to see them do it. I mean, they're probably, they're not, no one's going to beat America and the Iroquois for score now. I think they've done very well. Question is, do you got are you guys gonna think that China and Mongolia have they been more entertaining? And to be honest, I'd say no. There is I don't think any of these cities are not their own. They haven't taken any they took one. And that's pretty bad. Also that doesn't matter. Germany be the Sioux. Not really important. But yeah, I mean they've not been that entertaining. They've taken one, so they're probably I wouldn't really vote for them. So it's up to you guys. Russia and Poland, probably the most entertaining of those top fives. I guess the Songhai there too. They took a few cities. I mean, again, they didn't take that, all that many. It feels like they took a lot. They took out Morocco and Carthage. They're not historically the greatest team in the world. It's It's been a weird game. No one's really gone on that sort of destroying the whole world kind of run that certain civs are particularly known for. These two, both in that one. Uh, Mongolia can do it as well. They haven't really done it this time. I think it's because they're teamed up with China. Like, I think Mongolia would have been more aggressive towards Vietnam than China, and maybe that's why the issues have been there. Being on a team. But yeah, they're the civs that tend to do it. Obviously someone normally dominates North America, and I say no one's gone on a destructive run. The, these two obviously did, but because they're in North America, maybe you can discount it a little bit. But I think... I, I can't see anyone realistically believing they've not been the best team. I mean, sorry guys. I mean, these guys, again, didn't really do much. All these cities are their own. That they settled, apart from that one. Greece v. Germany. Ooh. Okay, Rome is now at war with Austria. Okay, they weren't before. I thought they was. But now, now they are. Ethiopia v. Korea. That's interesting. Huns v. the Sioux doesn't matter. Siam v. the Sioux also doesn't matter. But yeah, Austria... I'm fighting France, but we'll now also be at war with Rome and Greece. <laughs> we won't forget Greece. They declared this. They obviously thought they were ready to take on Austria. I'm not sure where they got that idea from. But maybe Rome's navy can at least grab them this city. And that'll give Greece a chance to push on. New Zealand now going after the Sioux, who are, by the way, safest Civ in the world. Technically. <laughs> Te there's a technicality in there that the Iroquois could wipe them out at any point in time. But, you know, apart from that, they're pretty safe. No one else can get to them. So as long as it's not the Iroquois, it's fine. I don't get why the AI 
hasn't deleted that worker. And they can't get open borders. They probably if they're paying one gold per turn for this, just delete it and like buy another one. You would have saved enough money by now to buy a new one. Chinook still have this city, which looks gross on the mini map. Hopefully America might clean it up before the end. Take them out. It would be cool if America took everything. It's not that I want the leading sieve to pull further away, but it would be pretty cool if they were to do that. The Iroquois have got the nicest game right now, by the way. They don't have to worry about anything. Because if the war breaks out in the south, America's going to take the brunt of it. No one else is going to attack them. At all. No one else is going to be able to. So then just sit here, have a good time, pump out units. Easy peasy. France not doing much against Austria. Let's see if Rome. It's Rome's turn now, actually. I don't know why they have artillery in the sea. That is not the way to go about this. No planes either. That is going to hurt. And there we go. Russia and Poland finally with a Manhattan project. And they peace out with the South Americans. Not sure it was ever going to be an issue. But there you go. That's one less war to worry about, I guess, for these guys who are doing pretty fine. They are. They are being buffeted from all sides at times. The Huns are in there. They were at war with Germany and Austria for so long. But, you know, they fought, fought out pretty well from a pretty difficult start. Normally, this is a nice start because there's so much space here. But with this map, there is not that much space. I mean, there's a fair amount. But once you put the Huns and the Khazar in here, it filled up pretty quickly. Mongolia probably got a little bit more than I would have wanted. If I'd have swapped the Khazar for Parthia, who spawned about here... I think it would have been different, or if I'd have moved the Khazar to here when I did the spawns, it might have been different because them and the Huns you need to separate because they spawn on the same tile, or one one's left, one's right. Doesn't really work out. But yeah, they have definitely been pretty disappointing. The Khazar, the Huns have tried their best. They they fought, they did take a city from Russia, and they got three good cities, so can't really complain. But yeah, the Khazar. Definitely not the best teammate. I mean, they should have put more effort, I think, on Persia to try and find a new way out to expand. Didn't happen. And obviously now Vietnam has it. It's probably not going to be available. And it is now New Zealand's turn. Did you guys... Are you guys going after someone? I think they're just chilling. I don't think they... They didn't charge after Korea and Japan. Australia's go, and there we go, turn 374. But that is going to be it for this episode. As always, if you have enjoyed, be sure to leave a like and a comment down below. Be sure to subscribe as well if you're new to the channel. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.